Welcome to Windsor Springs, a premier new home community nestled right here in the serene shores of Lake Louisville in Oak Point, Texas. This is an awesome Toll Brothers home. It's about 4,400 square feet, has four car garage, and some amazing upgrades that you will be excited to see. Now this is a spec and inventory home. This isn't a model home, so it's not furnished. That's right. But it's available right now. So, so let's you get you in this. We're pretty much exclusive. As you come on in, you've got your office, right? Basically a two story office, even though this is a single story home, it's, I don't know, 15 foot ceilings. Yeah, so, let me bring them up. Let's see, look at how high these things are. Woo. I mean, these are eight foot doors. Listen to that echo. <laughs> these are eight foot doors. Yeah, it's about 15 feet. Nice black picture windows pouring in all that light. Yeah, this is a huge room. If you're familiar with Oak Point or you're not, it's near Dallas. It's a stone's throw away from Little Elm, Frisco, Plano, that sort of thing. So you've got all the entertainment that you want, but yet you don't have that crowd or that noise. And you're very close to the 35, which gets you into Denton, Louisville area. I mean, you're like, Smack dab in the middle of everything you need right here. Yep, so as you come on through, down here is the great room. Obviously you've got your tiled fireplace all ready to go. Nice fan opening up right here to this kitchen. Let me show this big fan. The light on the fan isn't on at the moment, but it's a big fan. You can see this room is huge. Waterfall edge. I mean, this thing has got everything that you could possibly want and then some. That is probably a six foot island. Oh, at least. We don't have one, two, three, four. Yeah, you're right. Okay, that's what I think. Six figured. butt island. Look at this kitchen, it's beautiful. It's got, I mean, everything in here is top of the line. And so let me go around so you can kind of see I think these are cool. You've got the, the nice little slip out plugs right mm -hmm. there. I love this sink. That matte black. Yeah. yeah, it's just really, really cool. Soft. There it is, and you've got this. It's got everything. You guys know Toll Brothers. You know how we feel about Toll Brothers. This house has got everything, and like I said, it's priced to move. Double oven, but. Is that all? No, that is not all. That is not all? What do you mean? There's a microwave right here. Is that what you mean, Patrice? No, that is not all I mean, but I like where the, I like where the microwave is. Uh-huh. Well, should we look at the snack very closet? Very large snack closet, yes. Let's look at the snack closet. The snack closet is really good size. That is a good size, let me. Plenty of Cheerios and oatmeal can go in this bad boy. Yeah, but I think maybe what they want to see is right behind me. What? Well, you get a prep kitchen. A prep kitchen? One. What? Look at this. What is a prep kitchen? Look at that. It's got its own stove in there. It's got its own dishwasher. It's got its own dishwasher. Now, you can customize this any way you want. Andy and I thought we might rather have a refrigerator in of there course. than the I, you know. stove, but I like the idea of having I mean, these stuff. cabinets are all top notch. Yeah. It's just. It's a nice little area right there. I mean, this is nicer than most kitchens. <laughs> I know, right? So anyway, let's continue our tour on, on down here. You've got a secondary bedroom, really good size with its own ensuite, of course. So I usually like to put toilet seats down before I video, but I did not at this time. Well, the house is so big that we. <laughs> But it's got a nice, you know, it's got the shower and the tub, so you can't, I mean, you got everything you need in there. Mm -hmm. Decent sized closet. Let cool. me show that. In this community, they have six floor plans to choose from. Two are uh, single story, which we're in one of them right now, and then four two story products. I'd go down that way, except for down there is the garage. They just epoxied all the floors in the garage, so sure. we can't get in there. But that's a good thing to know that they have epoxy floors. So let's go on here to bedroom number two. Okay. Same thing, nice size, 
front of the home, one window. It's got a, its own bath. Let's go look at that bath. Walking closet. Same size as well. closet as the other one. So this bathroom is configured a little bit differently. You've got that area. And then shower and bathtub is behind this door. All solid doors, of course. So you got that. It's got a nice little niche for your shampoo and whatnot. Tile goes all the way to the top, which is fantastic. Yeah, these doors are super solid. All the ceilings, are, again, are like 15 feet high. So oh, yeah. um, it's a really good size. Except in here, they're like 20 feet. This place really echoes. With yeah, no with no furniture or anything like that. The other thing they need to remember, which most people probably know, but I'll say it anyways, is houses that are empty always look smaller than they do when they have furniture in it. And this house looks huge. So with furniture, it probably looks massive. <laughs> most people don't know that, Patrice, but our viewers, our clients know that uh -huh. because they watch our channel. They That's know true. all these things. They're more educated <laughs> than the average. They've got a right. nice little cut out in the ceiling there. Yeah, so you've got nice little breakfast area, sitting area. The only thing dining. I would do differently, well not the only thing, but one of the things is that light fixture is so tiny. I, I would get a way bigger light fixture in yeah. here. Yeah, <laughs> that, that is a want. Yeah, it really, it really is. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, if that's the only thing that's wrong with this, then we're okay. But there is another set of sliders, which is so nice to have. Very, very nice mm -hmm. to have. So come on, so we got a little special what treat over here. as we keep going. We've got a powder, which that toilet seat is up as well. <laughs> that is a nice little sink right there. And then they've got a linen closet back there, which is nice. You could put some shelving and stuff back there to put some knickknacks or towels or whatever on it. Now this is media room, game room, flex space, however you want to treat it. Uh -huh. um, you know, you can put some blackout shades to really make this a dark system. It's already got the 7.1 surround sound in it. it um, I would probably make a combo game room, game room right here and with a media room uh -huh. to watch the games and all that I good agree. stuff this room is big enough definitely to make it a, a game room and media room yeah i would say it's a good 30 by 15. yeah let me go back i'm trying to get to each corner so you can kind of get an idea of how big this is yeah. a nice room. Very so, I bright. I mean, this is perfect for those. We've already asked, I know you're thinking right now, this is great. I said it's on an acre to three acres, and yes, you can build that RV garage or whatever it is mm -hmm. that you want to do. So this has got it all. You can have your cake and eat it too with this, yes. right? Yes. You're right by the lake. You can have your boathouse. You can have your uh, RV garage work storage. Yeah, and you know what? Right here, right across the street from here is, um, is the Polo is Club. The Polo Club and that and comes part of that. Yeah, mm -hmm. that, that's part of it. They also have a yacht club, which is, you know, Lake Yacht Club. <laughs> uh, but it's more of a social gathering where a lot of a lot of um, gentlemen drive their golf carts down there, play card games. And ladies. And ladies, I'm just saying, but yeah. you know. Don't leave us ladies I was talking, oh, I'm, I'm a guy. I was talking about you. <laughs> So anyway, let's go check out the primary. And then after the primary, we'll show you that patio. And then because this doesn't show as well through the windows, we'll yeah. show you just I'll how much space you get. Mm -hmm. So let's go to the primary. Let's do it. Right in here, you have a what, linen closet, kind of coat closet, yeah. it's big. And then right over here, we'll show you real quick, uh, bedroom number three, again, right up the front of the home. Uh -huh. It's got a walk-in closet and of course its own bathroom as well. This one, however, does not have a tub. It's got a glass mm. vertical subway tile uh, all the yeah. way up. Seeing the shower, glass doors. Uh -huh. Really nice. You can see the blue tape where they're still fixing things. Mm -hmm. And then right over here is the utility room. It's got a perfect spot for a fridge. Yes, it's got a window there, which brings all that light in. Washer and dryer area. Very nice. So let's come on through. 
and check out this primary. Okay. I'm going to the bathroom first. There's the en suite. All right, look at that. Look at a that. Standalone huge. tub. That's a yeah, huge, huge standalone tub. Look at this window. I want to get some window coverings for that. You get the whole family in that tub. <laughs> I know. Look at that huge mirror. I love the black this cabinetry. Is what do you guys think? Definitely her side because it's got the little, what you call makeup area. Well, what else would it be called? It's called a vanity. Not her. Goofball. But. So here is the other side. Look at that sink. That is a good size sink too. What do y'all think of this black cabinetry? I think it looks sharp in here. It does. It looks really good. And then here's the shower. Okay. You ready for the shower the test? Head, and then they've got the little, you know what, let me look in there so you can see the little niche in here. See, it's got like the little niche area. You've got your, your seat. You got two the seats. Floor. You got two seats. Yeah. Good. And let's close this thing. Let's... All right, so you can. So you hit right here, but it's good for feet. You could probably lay down and Oh, for sure. <laughs> Rain head, I mean, it's got everything. Yeah, and then right next to me, it's got a really good size linen closet right here. You should be able to fit all your towels and sheets and blankets and all that good stuff in there. Now, let's head, oh wait, so this one, Take a right here, and then in between. So to the right is one closet. It's gonna be mine. Now on the other side, I might as well go in so you can kind of see there's plastic on the floor so we don't walk on the carpets if you're hearing that sound. But that's nice to have some shelving in your closet. And then on the other side is a whole other closet. It's a little, well, it's not a little bigger, it's about it's twice the size. And, yeah, so there we go. And then as we come out, we can go right into the primary. What, five big windows, and then you've got oh, your yes. other windows up on top as well. And very tall ceilings. Very tall ceilings. Thing is perfect size primary, to be honest. Oh, yeah. It's set up to have your TV sitting right here on this wall. Now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and go out into the backyard, show you that patio, and then show you the lot. Really good sized patio. You got plum for your gas already. It's got ready for that TV. No problem finding where to ready. put that TV on this. Look, it's got the same fan as it has in the house. Look at how tall these ceilings are. So pretty. Really, really good size. Again, if you've watched this channel, you know how I feel. It's already plumbed. If you can see the electrical outlets right here, that is for those electric screens that I always talk about. If we can reference some of our other videos that have electric screens, we will do so right now. But that's what that is for. This is just perfect for that. Put a fireplace out here, have your windows or your um, sliders open and just open, doubles up your, your uh, living space. Now, they only seed the sod. This front part. The and right first, now, the last 20 feet, and everything's dormant because say, we are in move. Texas. Things go dormant here in the winter. Yeah, if you're not from Texas or the South, you probably don't realize that. You think we just Looks live dead. around with all dead grass, but <laughs> that's not the case. No. And then this is all gonna be overseeded. But if Patrice can follow me, like I said, this is an acre. Follow you without falling. You've got all this wooded trees. That's what this whole development is. But if you could see that far tree with the green, that's how far back your uh, this lot goes. Yeah, see that tree, see it way back there? That is how far back your lot goes. Yeah. One nice thing when we were talking to the sales rep, the builder, this area is, is a conservation area. So they, there's no hunting or anything like that on this acreage. And you've got an eight point deer walking around in this and whole a family, a little herd of deer uh, cruising around this place. So pretty cool concept. Not something that you get every day in Dallas. Not in, not in Frisco. 
Yeah, so basically show the back of the house. Do that. Now, the other thing you have to remember is they do not do the fencing for you here. They're leaving that up to you to put it wherever you want. And it has to be the iron fencing. Yep. And so that's just something to keep in mind. Yeah, the, the reason why they're not doing it is that they're not cutting down any trees no. and the, this place is just heavily wooded. So um, they'll leave that up to you, but it's priced accordingly. Not mm -hmm. sure if we've given the price yet or not, but it's just under $1.5 million. Now to give you an idea, about 20 minutes from here is the fields in Frisco. And those things, you are, you're getting 40 foot lots for the same price. Same so price, yeah. absolutely ridiculous. It is so peaceful around here too. We'll definitely get the drone up so you can kind of see just the area. Hopefully get a good feel for this area. It is so nice and peaceful, I love it. Yeah, and you are, 20 minutes to the star in Frisco, mm -hmm. that Frisco Plano border is kind of the new headquarters. You've got everything that you could possibly want all right here in location. Now, the one thing that I will say is that if you're looking and you have school aged children for some reason and you're still watching this channel, thank you. But this isn't the greatest school system and that's why the 1.5 million is available right here. However, the school systems are getting better around here. Oh yeah, so it's not a bad school system. Definitely do your due diligence and figure out the schools around here and look into it. Yeah, definitely not not a bad school system. Mm -hmm. I didn't. Well, if you're comparing, but it, but I'm just it's not Frisco. We hope you enjoyed this tour of this fantastic Toll Brothers inventory home, single story, 4,400 square feet on one to three acres. Completely a little different than what we normally yes. do traditionally, but. And just to remind you, this is Windsor Springs in Oak Point, and we are just steps away from Lake Louisville. And this is an amazing community. It's got stocked ponds, and it's got plenty of walking areas. Deer, it's, uh, it's, polo club, yes, it's yacht just club. Calm and serene here. Absolutely. Now, this is a must see. We would love to show it to you. Give us a call, text, email, however it is that you want to get a hold of us. Just get a hold of us. The best way is always that dream home form in the, in the comment below. And until the next time, I'm Andy. And I'm Patrice. Take care.